Gonna camp, we got no food. We're just gonna do our thing and see what happens. Heading towards the mangroves, we're gonna try and catch a mud crab. Later on, we might go back and grab the ski and head out and try grab some uh, lunch and camp tonight somewhere at the beach. Man, I love this Got a bit of a water crossing up here. Looks all right, I reckon we'll get past it. No worries for the Parado. Ah. Ooh, bit tight up here. All right, so I just spotted out in the river there a huge fin from a shark. And there's always big bull sharks and tiger sharks that swim through here, but I've never actually got to film one. So I'm going to go get the drone, fly in the air, and see if I can spot this for you guys. Whew, I just ran back. I didn't spot that shark, but believe me, I seen it. I'll prove it to you guys one day. There are big bull sharks and tiger sharks in this system. Anyway, so we're just gonna keep moving on. It's a beautiful summer's morning. It's actually quite cool, considering it can be like 50 degrees sometimes here. There's a nice breeze blowing, so the midges aren't too bad. And um, it's pretty much like the dead low of the tide right now. So hopefully when the tide starts coming in, all these big buck muddies show themselves and me and Strider can grab one. We'll keep pushing forward. This is so good. Oh, what's Ed got? Ed! Hey! What you got, girl? What was it? What was it? Just crossing the river now, and uh, I really don't trust this area for bull sharks. Normally, nine times out of ten, a human's all right, but a dog in the water, that attracts the wrong kind of attention. So just got strata with me. We're going to cross this and uh, just check this one spot. If not, we'll quickly rush back before that tide gets too deep, and uh, I can't cross again. <laughs> All right, we did it. Woo! Go ready. What the hell is this thing? What the hell? So, there's a turtle here. Bro, what are you doing? Strata, shh. Hey, I am not joking. I am in the middle of a tide pool in the middle of nowhere, and there is a full grown turtle in here. It's just a pond. I'm trying to be super still to not spook it because if I spook it, it's actually got nowhere to go. This is amazing. It's in the middle of a little tide pool that only exposed itself with the lowest tides and right underneath me is a fully grown turtle. Oh, it's coming back out. It's coming back out. Can you just go see it down there? Has no idea I'm here. I'm like not moving at all. He's coming right up to me. Hey man, you are lost bro. Whoa. Whoa. I 
know, I know it might seem cruel that he's trapped in this pond and I'm not doing anything, but in a few hours the tide will rise and he'll be able to get out of here. If I knew this guy couldn't get out, I'd be grabbing him and wrestling him to the water and letting him go. But he should be fine. He actually doesn't even know I'm here. He has no idea. <laughs> Silly turtle. All the best, man. I'm out of here. Check out where he is. Like it's mud flat. And the poor fella's in there. But he will be okay. Man, I've been walking for a pretty long time now. Haven't seen any crabs. But it's still a beautiful morning. Stratus frothing. Chasing all the little fish and whatnot around you can actually see them at my feet they're everywhere look <laughs> straight up here yeah look 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 i've lost count of how many times i've actually been up these creeks and never never caught a mud crab but i don't know something about just being up here and trying to look for your own food i'm looking for my breakfast now i didn't have to go to the shops or anything like that i don't know just for me uh, that's sort of what it's all about and then the experiences you get to see along the way like that turtle are you kidding me i actually didn't think while i was over there but that might be the smartest turtle out there because that place where it was he has the shelter under that structure for six hours of the day he's isolated from any prey and he can come and go as he pleases so that might actually be his home so i'm so glad that i left him there and didn't interfere like i mean how cool is this man so awesome. It's literally just me in the middle of nowhere. No one else around. <sighs> Dodging all the deadly things in Australia and just relaxing. <laughs> Look how beautiful this part is here. So nice. Wow. These little buggers here have a mean whip to them. And you don't want to get stung by one of them. Oh, mate. Whoop. There he goes. I am absolutely starving right now. I haven't eaten all morning and I'm not getting any mud crab. So what I'm gonna do is I've come across a, f of, I think it's a cod and it's not moving. I'm gonna try and catch it with my spear. And that's gonna be my breakfast. Never mind, I stuffed that up so bad. Damn it! Oh, sea snake. Oh, he's got a fish. Look. He's trying to swallow that fish. Hey, buddy. Well done. Look at him open his jaw. Oh, it's going, I see it going down. <laughs> How cool is that? That sea snake just caught for dinner. Unlike me. Whoa. Woo. <sighs> Little fella here. A shove no shark. I just want to grab it and show you guys. They're pretty cool. See that? They just go around and graze on the bottom and feed. I'll put him back, let him go. There you go, mate. Good. Off you go. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I didn't hurt that in any way. They're, they're fine. Alright, just an update for you guys. Me and Strider. Well, 
we're kind of lost. I actually don't really know where we are. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. I sort of just started wandering off and looking for crab holes and sort of, I kind of know which way is back home. So I'm, he I'm heading the direction towards the, uh, the river and uh, we'll just keep looking along the way. But uh, you got a little bit thicking up in here. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you what, if I find a crab hole where I am right now, there's a high chance it's gonna be a big crab in there. Ah, but we'll keep pushing forward. Oh, what a treat. There's like thousands and thousands and thousands of these little crabs that appeared. They actually come out of the ground, spear in the ground. You don't get to see them very often show you what they look like. I learned a new magic trick. Crabus Maximus! <laughs> Woo! Well, I didn't get any breakfast, so I'm just in the car heading back in towards town now. I need to formulate a new plan. I think I'll head back home, maybe grab my ski, grab the gear, I'm not sure, and head back out to the beach and see if I can get some lunch, and then just go from there. Such a cool experience with that turtle, but I don't even care that I didn't get anything to eat. That tide's coming up real quick, so I reckon in an hour or so, he'll be free to go again, which is awesome. And 